Agency of the Department of Justice, better known today by this three-letter abbreviation. Need an answer? Benedictine. FBI. That is correct, and that is the end of the round. We'll be right back with more of Academic Challenge right after this. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. Life is full of surprises, not all of them pleasant. Who can you depend on when the unexpected happens? You'll get fast, fair, and professional service from Westfield Insurance Claims Representatives because your protection is our business. Represented locally by leading independent insurance agents, Westfield Insurance is very proud to bring you academic challenge because supporting youth is another way we're protecting your future. It's easy to work hard when you find what you love. It starts when you realize that you want to succeed. This feeling of success, and it's incredible. I mean, it's the best feeling in the world. I never dreamed I'd be a lawyer. If you find what it is that you love to do and uh, make that your career, you'll never work a day in your life. Everybody finds it. You know, just gotta keep your eyes open, and you, you will find it. It's Lucas Chavez. My name is Javier Pacheco. I got my start at Tri-C. Welcome and meet the team advisors from Benedictine. Let's say hello to Greg Langjar and Roy Reeves. From Buckeye is Dr. Nick Baldwin, and from Pymatunum Valley is Donna Leeson. Okay, it's time to get back underway with our game. This time we're going to play hot picks one at a time. I'll ask each team eight questions. A correct response is worth 20 points with no penalty for a wrong answer. Any team answering all eight questions correctly will receive 25 bonus points. First up is team number one, Buckeye. We're going to go to Jake from Pima Tuning Valley to pick the envelope for Buckeye. Two. Number two it is. Remember, Buckeye, these questions are just for you. No need for you to hit your buzzers. The cities of El Paso, Texas, and Juarez, Mexico are located on opposite sides of what river that forms much of the boundary between the U.S. and Mexico? Rio Grande. Is correct. Environmentalists have placed on the most endangered species list the short-eared variety of what bird associated with wisdom? Ow. Ow. Is correct. Before becoming a lawyer, Abraham Lincoln had worked briefly at what same outdoor measuring job for which George Washington had earlier trained? Need an answer? We're looking for surveyor. Surveyor. Take a look at your monitor for this science question. Of these three processes, which one would most likely be used by industry for the commercial preparation of magnesium? Electrolysis. Electrolysis. Is correct. The title, not of emperor, but of dictator for life, was given to what ancient Roman general whose life ended when he was assassinated in 44 BC? Caesar. Is correct. Novelist Stephen Crane died on June 5, 1900, exactly 10 years to the day before the death of what other writer whose short stories include The Gift of the Magi? Need an answer? We're looking for O. Henry. Take a look at your monitor for your math question. This expression is equal to what integer? Need an answer? 14. That is correct. In 1940, an extraordinary rescue took place when the British evacuated hundreds of thousands of troops from what French port on the English Channel? Dunkirk. That is correct. Great job, Buckeye. And that's the end of the round. Okay, it's time now for team number two, Pima Tuning Valley, and we're going to ask Will from Benedictine to pick their envelope. Let's send them number one. We're sending in number one, Pima Tuning Valley. Remember, these questions are just for you. No need for you to hit your buzzers. Let's play. Southernmost of our 50 states is what group of tropical islands in the Pacific? Hawaii. Is correct. No detail is too small for scientific inquiry. One professor wrote a 400-page study about the feeding habits of the blackbird that titles what poem by Edgar Allan Poe? Raven. Is correct. Should he visit modern America, what classical messenger god might be jobless today because of the advanced communication systems? Hermes is correct. Take a look at your monitor for your science question. Which of these terms refers to plant tissue that conducts water and minerals upward from the roots? Xylem. That is correct. For wagon trains crossing the Nebraska Territory, Chimney Rock was a landmark along what trail? That Oregon Trail. That is correct. In the nursery rhyme, the farmer is in the dale, but who is in the rye in the title of J.D. Salinger's novel about Holden Caulfield? The catcher. catcher. That is correct. Take a look at your monitor for the math question. Reduce this expression to a positive integer. 
Need an answer? 60? <laughs> 60 is correct, Judge. Yes, 60 is correct. After the Civil War, the only Confederate officer executed for war crimes was Major Henry Wirtz, who had been in charge of what notorious prison camp in Georgia? Need an answer? Sorry, we're looking for Andersonville. Andersonville, great job, Prima Tuning Valley. And that is the end of the round. Now, rounding out our hot picks is team number three from Benedictine, and we know no challenge here, you're getting envelope number three. Remember, these questions are just for you. No need to hit your buzzers. Let's play. Pennsylvania's Elijah Pennypacker packed a peck of pennies into a fund for what so-called railroad that aided runaway slaves? Underground Railroad? Is correct. According to a recent survey, Americans' favorite flavor of pie comes from what fruit planted throughout the Midwest by the legendary John Chapman? Apple. Is correct. You never know what you'll find when you start digging around. In 1799, soldiers dug up what historic stone that gave us the key to understanding Egyptian hieroglyphics? Rosetta. Is correct. Take a look at your monitor for your science question. Fats and oils are among the most important natural forms of which of these types of compounds? Ketones. No, I'm sorry. We're looking for esters. In February and March of 1899, U.S. troops had to battle snipers as they took control of what largest city in the Philippines? Need an answer? All right, we're looking for Manila. Looking for Manila. Had Sir Arthur Conan Doyle tired of writing about Sherlock Holmes, he was licensed to practice what same profession as Holmes' friend Watson? Doctor. That is correct. Take a look at your monitor for your math question. Find either the length or the width of this ranked rectangle if its area is 125 square inches. Need an answer? 25. That is correct. Some of the earliest movies of African wildlife were filmed in 1909 during a safari organized by what American, our 26th president? Teddy Roosevelt. That is correct. And that's the end of our Mix It Up round. We're coming back with our final and deciding grab bag round right after this. I not only use all the brains I have, but all I can borrow. There are risks you have to take as a business owner. Insurance isn't one of them. Rely on the knowledge of Westfield Insurance and a trusted advisor, your independent agent. Represented locally by leading independent insurance agents, Westfield Insurance is very proud to bring you Academic Challenge because supporting youth is another way we're protecting your future. Chris Carlson is a professor at Kent State University. Yeah. Paul is a horticulture student. Together they design, manage, and maintain green space. Yeah. Professor Carlson's classrooms are landscapes and flower gardens. Yeah. Paul cultivates knowledge, among other things. Watching his hard work grow and flourish has always been a fashion of Professor Carlson's, especially the student varieties. Yeah. This is learning by living. It's happening every day at Kent State University. Imagine. You know what you want to protect, but how are you going to maximize your coverage to fit your needs? Quite simply, the Hoffman Group providing professional insurance services since 1919 with the expertise to tailor fit the right coverage to meet your individual needs. At the Hoffman Group, we service our customers with the integrity and professionalism they have come to expect. The Hoffman Group, the right insurance for the right you. For academic challenge information on the web, log on to Newsnet5.com and click on Education. Let's recap the scores. In third place is Buckeye with 310 points. In second place, Pima Tuning Valley with 360 points. And in the lead right now is Benedictine with 380 points. It's time now to play the grab bag round. In this free for all, each correct answer is worth 20 points. But a team loses 20 points for a wrong or no answer. There will also be some visual questions worth 30 points, but an incorrect answer will cost 30 points. Again, this is for all three teams, so everyone, hand on your buzzers and let's begin. The words Requiem for a Planet appeared on the cover of Newsweek last summer when what former planet was demoted to planet Benedictine? Pluto. Is correct. 
If you held all the dark green cards in Monopoly, you'd own what street with the same name as the avenue on which the White House is? <laughs> Buckeye. Pennsylvania. Is correct. Tokyo, Japan is nine hours ahead of what sort of mean time? <laughs> Benedictine. Greenwich. Is correct. Take a look at your monitors for this one. This painting shows the death of British General Pakenham in what last battle of the War of 1812 fought after <laughs> Benedictine? The Battle of New Orleans. Is correct. William Faulkner was a novelist, not a cartoonist, but he gave a character in his novel, Sanctuary, the name of what spinach-eating sailor? Benedictine. Popeye. Is correct. What number is the multiplicative identity el element? Benedictine. One. Is correct. Soldier is the one-word title of Karen DeYoung's recent biography of what general who preceded Condoleezza Rice as Secretary of State? Benedictine. Colin Powell. Is correct. Take a look at your monitor. This statement was made by what American inventor and futurist who's developed the geodesic dome? Need an answer? Looking for Fuller. Looking for Fuller. Because its front legs are folded as if in prayer, what variety of predatory insects? Benedictine. Praying mantis. Is correct. Which of these is not a unit of power? Joule per second, foot pound per minute, or Newton per second? Time to Tuning Valley. Foot pound? No, I'm sorry, we were looking for Newton per second. Some Shakespeare scholars claim that William Cecil, an advisor to Queen Elizabeth I, was the model for what talkative character who is Ophelia's father in Hamlet? Need an answer? Polonius, Polonius. An essay by a French philosopher, take a look at your monitor here, inspired this work by what surrealist artist noted for his painting of melted watches? Buckeye. Salvador Dali. That is correct. What patriotic teacher who served as a spy during the Revolutionary War gave his life for his country when he was hanged by the British? That's the end of the round, everyone. And let's take a look at our final scores. In third place, we have Pima Tuning Valley with 340. In second place, Buckeye with 360. And tonight's winner of Academic Challenge is Benedictine with 530 points. Make sure you join us in two weeks as we'll feature teams from Beechwood, Lake Ridge Academy, and Mapleton. I'm Danita Harris. We'll see you in two weeks for another Academic Challenge. Good night, everybody. Academic Challenge has been brought to you by Westfield Insurance. Welcome back. There's an unusual weather system anchored over Ohio, so let's go outside and talk to Liz. Thanks, Phil. It's gusting to over 260 million out here. Here's why. The Ohio Lottery's new instant game, $5 million cash windfall. The $20 ticket with the highest payout ever. There are 15 $1 million winners and six $5 million winners. That could make the future bright and sunny. All I know is that high winds are in the forecast. When your tub and shower area become frightening, you can spend the time and expense to remodel or have Bath Fitter give you a new look in one day. It's 8.15 and I'm off to work. Bath Fitter custom molds an acrylic tub that fits right over your existing one. We could even custom fit a seamless wall unit. I can't believe I'm enjoying my new bath. All this in one day. Call Bath Fitter now to find out how simple it is to enjoy your new bathroom. Some children have to be very careful to keep everything precious together in one place because they never know when they might be moving on. At Pathway Caring for Children, we believe that every child deserves one place to call home for good. Do you have the compassion, the faith, and the strength to take an abandoned or neglected child into your heart and home as a foster parent? Call Pathway at 1-800-838-7284. WEWS, an equal opportunity employer, is dedicated to providing broad outreach regarding job vacancies at this station. We seek the help of organizations in referring qualified applicants to us. To receive our job vacancies, send your organization's name, address, and contact person to WEWS 3001 Euclid Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio 44115.
Wake up with Good Morning Cleveland and Tanita and Suzanne. Good morning, Cleveland. And we continue to follow a developing story. Lake effect snow showers developing. Weekdays at 5 a.m. What made these people jump for joy is if.